643, the geeks are here. Bert Lum, Ian Kitajima, they are in Halloween fashion, getting ready, of course, for tomorrow. And I feel kind of left out, so thank you to Ian Shuring. I've borrowed his hat for a little while. <laughs> Gentlemen, let's talk about uh, Halloween things, but we, we're starting with spooky thing first. Okay, right? so Einstein referred to quantum entanglement as spooky action at a distance. Okay. And why we're talking about quantum entanglement is the fact that Google has claimed quantum supremacy. So what they did was they, they have a quantum computer. Right. Uh, it has 53 qubits. A qubit is like a quantum bit. But the thing about the, these quantum bits is that they're actually, they can actually adapt one state and another state at the same time, but at a distance. That's, that's the reference to spooky action at a distance. Okay. So the, 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 the story is <clears throat> they were able to compute this thing, which we're all probably trying to struggle with, is right. the probability distribution of quantum random numbers, okay? So anyway, keep that in your mind. And, and so this computer did it in three minutes versus a regular supercomputer, which would have taken 10,000 years. Wow. Okay, so that's, so, a, that's a, su a quantum supercomputer. So Google says that they come yeah, up with this yeah. computer, but we're still kind of yeah, wanting yeah, to yeah, check yeah, it yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's move along to Halloween okay. apps, right? So Halloween apps, so there's an app we're playing with called Leo AR. Okay. And so I'm gonna like, so this is actually an augmented reality app. So I have to uh, kind of, Set that up, and then I'm gonna like pick a spooky dude right here, and now he's gonna be flying around. And where's Steve and Grace? They're not here, but anyway. So yeah, so you can choose all kinds of other kind of characters. Oh, spider, a, don't do that. Don't spider. do that. that, that that'll freak out Lacey. You know, and it, well, we had a little dancing skeleton in there. So, <laughs> okay. you know. It's apps for Halloween. Apps, apps for Halloween. Yep. <clears throat> the other thing, that thing is games. Yes, okay. So for PS4, right? PS4, but actually a lot of different platforms are out there. The main thing that's really interesting about Game City is they're in such high resolution, 4K. So if you're in a gamer, it's so scary now and so realistic that you'll probably have nightmares. Whoa. PTSD. I mean, it's like scary kind of stuff. So actually, the one I like is called Medieval. It's actually 10 years old. It's actually a remake. They're doing it's a, a reboot of it? They did a reboot of it. 10 years ago, they had it. It's called Medieval. It's actually like Halloween, but really cutie. Cutesy, but kind of cool as you kind of kill bad zombies and stuff. But it's so like... So you won't nightmare out. <laughs> nightmare out. And you're actually a, a superhero skeleton okay. going after all of these characters. So anyway, so there's some really scary stuff <laughs> out there, but... I like the medieval one. Okay. <laughs> Finally, uh, I saw this over at Impact Hub, uh, Climathon. Right, so Climathon, the scary part about this is that you know, a lot of the tourists, they buy one-use types of ocean gear, like right. snorkel or fins or, or even those uh, foam noodles, right. and they abandon them. So they had a climate hackathon, and the idea was come up with ideas that would help minimize the impact of some of these things. So one of the teams which won called Get Zero Wasted, thought about getting a, you know, collecting these things, gently used, and actually make a gift basket for tourists, make a deal with the, with the hotel, put it into the rooms, and it's like, a, it's like a gift basket to introduce them to the idea of taking care of the environment. Uh, so maybe they won't uh, save a little bit of money, but at least these things won't be single use. That's right, and then, right, right. then abandoned, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, and, exactly. coming up tonight, HBR1. Uh, so we're gonna be talking to the inventor of something called Way Sign, and these are signs that go at the bus stop, and it gives you all the information on what's happening, you know, when the bus is coming, how long it's going to be, and all that kind of stuff. Okay, they're dancing. We're taking a break. You're watching Sunrise on Hawaii News Now. We'll be right back on Halloween Eve <laughs> Eve. Is that right? Oh, good like enough that. for okay. me. Good enough. It's almost Christmas. <laughs>